20. everybody welcome back to another episode of simply unprofessional i'm your host webby join me tonight we got devin hey everybody how's it going it's me devin i'm your co-host for the evening and rob is sadly out he is listening in but he had a couple teeth extracted yesterday so he's in a bit of pain and i'm wanting him to uh rest up and and stay silent uh, I'm kind of questioning his dentist for some reason because, like, they, you know, they went pull teeth, but like, they had the jaws of life. I don't know why. Um, I feel like they did things they weren't supposed to do. They had the jaws of life, and they had um, forceps and an Italian guy named Igor. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, hey, I brought him there. All I can say, Devin, is for certain. The man that walked into the dentist office was not the same man that walked out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he was a completely different person. Uh, for the listeners, I hope you uh, enjoyed that new little SU intro theme song. Uh, sadly, the outro song is going to be the same normal one. But uh, yeah, my buddy Ross decided to uh, give us a... A Halloween Spooktoberfest SU theme song. Uh, he is potentially working on a couple other little side things for me as well that I might just randomly drop in. So if you're curious about those, uh, you'll have to listen to all the future episodes to at least hear the theme songs. Uh, Devin. Yes, sir. Last week, you, me, Rob, Avalos, we all talked about a bunch of different things that we could possibly do for the month of October, leading up to our annual Halloween live stream that Rob puts on. This week, uh, I had reached out to a few people. I didn't get many uh, suggestions back. But we are going to finalize that schedule so we know what we have moving forward as far as what, you know, each week what we need to do for for SU. Um, I feel like this is the same thing we did last, last, last year. We also dedicated an episode to pretty much doing a general layout. Um, and, you know, hey... If you guys are interested in a particular movie or, or spooky thing that we're going to be deciding to do, then you, you'll know exactly which week you need to tune in. Um, that being said, one of the things that you suggested, Devin, that I agreed with, is the last two years, we've done the last two films of the Halloween series, the reboot of the Halloween films. This year is supposedly the third and final installment of that reboot 
called Halloween Ends. My understanding is it is the third and final installment of what is supposed to be the like if they do do more, like it's supposed <laughs> to bring the lorry doo doo. If they if they do more, um, it's supposed this is supposed to be the end of the Lori Strode Michael Myers saga. Saga, yeah, like yeah. The, that whole that whole uh, oh, spaghettios will be done. So, uh, I'm not. This is going to sound cruel. I'm assuming since it was your recommendation, you're on board with watching that this you know this upcoming month. I'm putting my foot down. I'm solidifying it. It's in the books. We're, that's that's definitely one of the choices we're gonna do. That particular movie comes out on the 13th early watch party thing you said. Uh, technically comes out on the 14th officially. I don't know if it's going to be available on the streaming platform on the 13th, but right. it, yeah. But, so, but the 13th or the 14th, whichever one you want to go with. So we, we have our release dates for SU are going to be the 7th, 14th, 21st, and 28th. So we're going to do that the week of the 28th. So the, on our 28th, Friday the 28th is going to be Halloween Ends, which is going to be the day before our Halloween live stream. Okay, so that's that's where I am solidifying that one. Oh, God, I feel like an idiot. Don't do that. Halloween Ends. I think I just spelled Halloween wrong. <laughs> I mean, it happens to the best of us, buddy. Um. All right, so that one's that one's set in stone. Okay, so now we have three more weeks of things to choose from. Now, last week I had written down the ones that I was personally voting for. Um, I had asked Rob prior to this to this recording prior to this session of SU, uh, if he had a particular uh, vote for anything in particular. Uh, the only thing he had said that is if we decided to go with his podcast one, to not make that the first week, because he's still got to come up with a lot of like the streaming schedule for the Halloween live stream and a bunch of other things. Plus, he's still kind of recovering. So if we choose the No Sleep podcast, that one's going to be not on the 7th, so either the 14th or the 21st. And it's probably not going to be by itself, um, because he's going to just grab a couple of the episodes for us to listen to and and we'll talk about. But I figured if we're going to do the podcast one, we could probably also do like a YouTube one. I know Avalos had recommended Crypt TV, which is a YouTube channel thing. Um, so I figured, you know, a podcast and, and a couple of YouTube videos that are relatively short would be all right to discuss in length. Uh, if that's the route we want to go. Now I can refresh your memory, Devin, if you, if you don't remember some of the, uh, suggestions we had, last week uh please um, deal. but i know avalos had recommended hocus pocus 2 which is a, a big staple of halloween for a lot of people um, i myself hadn't seen Ho the first hocus pocus uh up until just a few within the last few years um it was actually avalos who recommended that i watch it so i, I did um, that comes out tomorrow, September 30th. So for those of you listening to this, the day it comes out, Hocus Pocus 2 came out today, apparently. Um, so Avalos recommended Hocus Pocus 2. He also recommended Black, Sum Black Summer on Netflix. Black Summer. Um, he recommended a movie called Ouija, Origin of Evil. Uh, Crypt TV, which is a YouTube channel or, or, or YouTube series. Uh, and then he also recommended uh, Haunted, which is apparently on Netflix. Here, I'm going to break these down real quick. Uh, we got movies, shows, 
not shoes, shows. Um, we're going to review Halloween shoes. Uh, it's a new segment, experimental. Uh, movies, shows, and uh, I'm saying miscellaneous. So in the movies, you said... Um, Ouija. Ouija. All right, Ouija. And Hocus Pocus yeah. 2. Hocus Pocus 2. All right. Uh, TV shows. I'm guessing Black haunted. Summer and yeah, haunted. haunted Black Summer. And I feel like there was a third one. No, not yet. No. Not under yeah, Avalos's yeah. suggestions. All right. And Miscellaneous then, was then, Crypt then, TV. Then, Crypt TV. Gotcha. That falls under the YouTube category. Gotcha. Um, you suggested. Halloween ends, which we're already putting down. You also recommended Color Out of Space and the Banana Splits, which yes. I see the mechanical dog on the U in the SU chat right now. Creepy. Right. Uh, and then Rob recommended a movie. What was the movie? Dark Skies. I feel like I've seen that before, but I could be off. And then he recommended under miscellaneous the No Sleep podcast. I do love the No Sleep podcast. Now, I don't listen to it because I don't listen to podcasts at work anymore, which is a sad day for me. What oh. I had written down as my personal vote, which again, this is why we, you know we're 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 having this discussion because you you know you could sway me. But my personal vote for what we should do would be Hocus Pocus 2, probably the first week. Uh, and then go into a couple episodes of The Haunted Show on Netflix. Uh, either the second or third week. And then on one of the, all, one of the remaining weeks, the a few episodes... Of the No Sleep podcast and a few episodes of the Crypt TV YouTube channel. Figuring that those two things could be there. I'm sure the episodes are probably short enough that you could kind of like, we could talk about multiple ones. So that's why I lumped yeah. those together. I would um, argue um, and say, if I'm going to be like, having seen Black Summer, me personally. Uh, I think well, I do think it's it's good, and it's definitely a something we could do an issue on at some point. Uh, I do feel like you get you need to watch for it to enjoy that. You need to watch the whole thing, and you're devoting at point six and a half seven hours. Right, but I mean, also Black Summer, if if I remember correctly, it's like a zombie show, right? Yeah. So I mean, I'm a fan of the zombie apocalypse genre. Uh so I'm will. That's something I'm willing to do any time of the year. Right, that's what I was saying. I feel like we could devote a whole issue to that, like right. by itself, at some point, and that's right. fine with me. Like I've seen it before, so that's why I feel like that I wouldn't necessarily include right now. Right. Um, and for that, because we could do that whenever. Um, and on top of that, it's also, uh, like it's the at least the first season is good, in my personal opinion. Right. And I mean, yeah, um, we could definitely do that. I mean, it doesn't even have to, that doesn't have to be done in the October. You know, we could do that uh, literally any time because, I mean, I'm a big fan of just that genre as a whole. And the only reason that I personally voted the way that I voted as far as what I think we should do is because that way I know Rob especially um, likes to break up the monotony of just movies. Uh, I know he's not a big movie person in general. So having, you know, starting the month with a movie and ending the month with a movie and then having, you know, right. a couple TV shows and even a podcast and some YouTube videos mixed in there, I, I think would be a good breakup. No, uh, I, for the month. I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. Um, at least on some respect. And again, at any point in time, like I think we could definitely do like the banana splits at any at any point in time if we really wanted to. Because it's also kind of a, uh, it's 
kind of like a partial comedy in a weird way. I think now, is could, this going to uh, be a lot you, like what's that? What was that other fucking Five movie? Freddy's no. or uh, the one with um, what you call it? The one with uh, Nicholas Cage. Oh, uh, Willy's Wonderland or whatever. Yeah, it's going to be more like a Willy's Wonderland. But... So, so it's not like that other creepy ass movie where the doll came to life. Was it uh, Pookie or whatever? Not Pookie. Ah, uh, I mean, was it Pookie? No, it wasn't Pookie. It was uh, fuck. What was that called? Didn't it have Felicia Day in it? It did. The first one did. The first one, yeah. Yeah. It, no, it wasn't. Was it, was it Pooks? The Puka. The Puka. Yeah, Puka. Yeah. yeah Puka. So it's not like uh, that. I mean, it's not like Puka. No, no, no. Okay. This is legitimately like a Five Nights at Freddy rip, which is funny because we're getting a Five Nights at Freddy movie at some point anyway. Um, we're getting a Five Nights at Freddy next year uh, as an actual movie, or supposed to be at some point next year. Um, anyway, for an actual like, yeah, as an actual movie. So, so you feel like the banana splits? We could do. We could do that. We could literally well. do the banana splits anytime. Like, I mean, it's. We don't really pick usually like this is the only this and like occasionally around Christmas are the only times we pick like genre movies. Yeah. Um. So I mean, we really could review these whenever. Uh, it wouldn't be a big deal. Color Out of Space, I think, is an interesting one. If we didn't re- do an issue on it, uh, we could watch it at some point. I'm not like picky on that. Ouija. Seen it. It's fine. Uh, I do feel like you would hate Ouija. I don't know about. I haven't seen the Origin of Evil one actually. I've seen the original one. Well, it'll be uh, your quote, original one. I mean, this but whole it's, month it's kind of th- this whole idea, like back when we first did the scary movies thing for October, uh, you know, leading up to the Halloween stream. I mean, originally it did start with, hey, you know, we're gonna torture Webby by making him watch. That was the original. Movies. That was the original thing. I, I mean, we just not my fa- my personal favorite horror genre. It's kind of. Uh, now, have you seen it, this haunted Netflix show? That's. I was gonna get to that. Okay. Uh, I've watched a lot of the episodes of Haunted. Don't really care for any of them. Uh, me personally, I don't. I'm. I don't really particularly find them to be effective. Okay. Um, uh, that's a, that. That's me though. Uh, I mean, um, I, if you want to watch them, we can do it. I'm totally fine with that. But I'm just saying, like me personally, like I did not watch like watching Haunted. I did not find it to be like particularly like. I didn't find it to be entertaining from a like a horror standpoint. I didn't really find it to be entertaining from like a documentary retelling standpoint. It was just kind of like, eh, all right. Um, but like that's just me. I mean, and this is like to say like say what you will about it. Like I'm like looking at the. Going like let's see, pulling up. I'm just gonna like, and I, you could look take IMDb ratings as you want to. Um, going to like season, let's see, three seasons. Let's just do like look at all the episodes. They're relatively short season, like six episodes a season. The highest reviewed episode in season one is has a six point two. Season two out of ten, has a, yeah, out of ten. Season two, the highest reviewed episode. The two highest reviewed episodes of the entire series and the two highest reviewed episodes of season two have a 7.2 and 6.9 respectively. And then season three. Now, what is it about? In, they're like uh, highest reviewed in season three to six and 6.4 out of 10. Um, now, the, they're, it's it's basically like an anth- I, I wouldn't say like an anthology series. It's basically like a... They get some people in and they like do like a retelling of like horror events that happened to them. <laughs> uh, so it's a chilling glimpse into the first person okay. account from who <laughs> witnessed horrifying events. But the thing is, it's like some of them, you, you know, they're it's supposed to be like retellings, but like a lot of it's clearly like God All right. played up, and a lot of it's clearly like overacted. 
Right. Um, and it's like, it, I don't know. I, I didn't particularly find it to be like effective. Like I watched like a couple of them from each season kind of jumped around and I was like, yeah, I, I don't really care for this. Okay. Let me um, ask you this. Then. So say we opted to not do haunted. Yeah. Is there another thing that you can think of another, either TV or another genre that isn't movie that you could think of that would be that would be a suitable replacement for it oh, because it again i kind of liked the idea of <clears throat> especially for rob's point of view breaking it up so it's not just oh no no, no. A month of i movies. agree like i i agree we don't need to do movies all the time i agree on that one um i'm about to send you something real quick though that i want you to read because i mean Regardless, we're already minimum. We're already doing at least one movie, and that's going to be Halloween Ends. <clears throat> I feel like Hocus Pocus 2, if we did that, it might be a fun little episode as well. Um, it would be fresh, especially if we did it the first week of October. It's going to be fresh uh, in people's minds, things like that. Right. <clears throat> God, man. Took a sip of my sparkling ice fruit punch. Went down the wrong pipe. Where are you sending this? I'm about to send it in a second. Mm. Uh, now, in your opinion, while you're looking for this to send it, if we were to have Rob grab, you know, X amount of episodes of this No Sleep podcast, okay, and we paired those with a couple episodes of this Crypt TV, do you think we could do one week with both of those? Like, do you think absolutely. that's a good idea? I, I think that could absolutely work. Um, I, cause, I mean, uh, Crypt TV, I think there's a couple of, like, a, I would say there's, like, maybe, like, Three, four, five of them that are like really, uh, I don't know, like I'm not saying like worthwhile, but that are like really, really, really good, really, really good. Okay. And there's come, there's some that are like middling, but they're they're all like good. They're all like decent to watch. But now, do you? Think- I, yeah, I think if we do that, and then you grab a couple of no sleep ones, because no sleep, you know, you grab their at any given time. They're from, you know, you can have some episodes. I would say what. I know Rob's not. I don't want him talking too much. I, I, it's been a minute since I've like done a full no sleep podcast listening because after no sleep, I mainly transitioned over to <clears throat> yeah. All of us are dead is interesting. The only problem with all of us are dead is uh, you and Webby would absolutely hate that. Hate that. Is it a TV show? It's a show on Netflix, but it's Korean, and the dub is like the dub isn't great. So I would recommend watching it by reading subtitles. But I mean, I will say it's also one of those shows where I feel like you need to actually like watch it to like appreciate all of it. So like just doing like a random. Right, that's what I was saying, Rob. I know the episodes of No Sleep are like two hours. I'm trying to think like the average story is like there's some that are like. Five, ten minutes, something like yeah, 20, 30. He, he said well, on I mean, average stories are like 10 yeah. to 20 minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so I'm saying, like, I feel like we could easily do, like, two or three of those and do, like, two or three from Crypt TV. TV. You might go you might go over, like, a, you might go over an hour by, like, maybe, like, maybe, like, an that's, hour, hour and a half episode. That's But, fine. like, whatever. Now, would you want but to do, you that the do that the second or the third week of um. Let's see, second or third week of October for that one. I'd say for me personally, I probably would say let's just go for the third. The third week. It would come out on the 21st. Oh, I was looking at September. Yeah. No, I know you don't mind dubs, but I'm saying the dub is actually like garbage. (laughs) I will say I feel like the last Korean film or media that I watched was that one stupid fucking movie that everybody you loves that boy. I hated. Yeah, that one. Well, you didn't watch Squid Games, did you? No. Oh, Squid Games is actually really good. <clears throat> the Mandela Catalog. Yep. Nope. That's 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 solid. 
Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. The mouths don't match at all, but it's like that, except I feel like they didn't get the same quality of voice actors. But it's not, it's like, it's it's fine. If you want to watch All of Us Are Dead, we can, but also, like Squid Games, I would feel like you're doing a, a disservice to, like, the show and to the experience if you just watched, like, two episodes or three episodes of it and then did a review on it. It's kind of like, I would say you need to watch, like, the whole thing. Like, if you just, like, reviewed three, three episodes of Squid Games, it would, you would very much be like, I mean, it's good. I want to watch more, but I don't really like it. Doesn't like the impact is not there. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's why I would, I would say, like, as good as that is, like, watching that as a show, I feel like it's that's the only thing that sucks about doing series that aren't like series like Haunted, where there is, there's like an overarching story. You're kind of just like it's like an overarching story. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard to be like, Hey, let's watch this show as an overarching story and not devote 10 hours to it without, cause it's like to give a full opinion on it. You'd need to watch the whole thing. But yeah, no sleep. I love no sleep. I'm down with no sleep. Uh, so let's pair no sleep with this crypt TV thing. That's great. We can do that. And if we did it, say the third week into October, uh, Rob Rob has been typing to his responses yeah, to I, myself and I'm, Devin. I'm reading. Uh, I'm, reading. Yep. I like I'm reading. letting I'm the reading. listeners know. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, this is the part of the visual podcast that the audio people can't see. Uh, Rob, if we did it on, say, the third week, that would give you enough time to come up with some of the uh, stories that you would want us to watch or listen to or whatnot, right? Okay. So let's do that. Let's aim for... We're going to do No Sleep Podcast. No Sleep Podcast. Uh, and w- on average, what? Are, how long are the Crypt TV um, videos yeah, uh, on I can, YouTube? I can, I can hop on YouTube right now and do Crypt, Crypt TV. Crypt so. TV. They, they're all like, you know, they're, they're like short. Short, short one. It depends on which ones you do, right? So I, I, so I'm subscribed to Kip TV. So if we did like the look see season one in chronological order, um, or the the chronological supercut of the look see, you're looking at like 15 minutes. Okay. And then you uh, could do like, but then you have like the door in the woods series supercut, which is also pretty really good. Um, that's 30 minutes long. So like we could do like two or three of these, two or three of those that would give us about an hour from each content. Okay. Side, okay. And then do re- re- reviews on that. I mean, so you can easily do like we'll do two to three eps of the no sleep podcast or two to three stories and then two to three episodes of this Crypt TV show. Yeah. Cause what we can do with Crypt TV is we can do like they have like the supercuts, like the chronological supercuts, where yeah. they take all the because it's it released like episodic, but they re, you know they re, supercuts they release them out, and what they do is they cut out like they kind of cut like small stuff here and there, and they kind of like make it where it's all chronological, but they cut out like the extra stuff here and there and right. make it kind of like one release. Um, okay. So you can you can easily do that. It all really just depends on like what you're doing, right? Because like you have like Shelly, that's like 33 minutes. Uh, well, I know Avalos recommended the Luxie one. I the Luxie is really down. good. The Luxie is what put them on the map, so I think it's like almost a requirement. The Luxie is what put them on the map. Came out like four years ago. Okay. I like the Luxie really good. The door in the woods, I I do like the door in the woods. All right. Well, let's let's write. Let me write both of these down real quick. So Luxie. So like the Luxie is sixteen door, minutes. Door in the woods the is twenty nine. And then we can get and like then uh, we'll do one pop up episode that you you know you or Rob can choose later on. That works for me. But, <sighs> so all right, and then Rob will pick out. He'll go through and he'll pick out you know two or three stories from the no, the No Sleep podcast for us to listen to. Yep. Um, so now, uh, what are your thoughts on doing Hocus Pocus? I know that's a, that's another movie, you know. I mean, I mean, I'm fine with Hocus Pocus. I mean, that, I mean, I think it's one of the more, um, 
like, what's the word I'm looking for? Anticipated movies coming out. Okay. I don't know when it comes out. But... It comes out tomorrow. Uh, it comes out September 30th. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm Disney Plus, so. I mean. So what we'll do is we'll do that. We'll aim to do that the first week of October. Yeah. That way it'll be no super thing. fresh. Uh, if that if that sounds good to you. I'm fine with that. All right. So Hocus Pocus 2 for the first week. So then we need to come up with what we want to do for the second week of October for our October 14th release episode. Um, if you're if you're saying that Haunted isn't that great of a show, I don't personally find it that great. I mean, we have time until we do it. If you want to like before we like lock that in, if you want to like go watch an episode or two of it and see well, kind of uh, how you feel no, about it, I I trust your judgment. You 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 know me. And my and my taste pretty well in things, um, and I mean even if we if if we decide on something for the, say the the week of the fourteenth, right, and then we decide to change it, uh, we can just let people know. But I mean, I'd like to have a, a rough estimate. Like, is there something else as far as a TV show that you would recommend? Man, now it's just all I hear is dogs barking everywhere. Yeah, we could. Uh, yeah, Apple. I was just thinking too. We could do a. Uh, we could do either Mandela catalog. We could do the back rooms. If you've seen the back rooms. I, I don't know what that is. I don't know what the Mandela man, Mandela catalog is. Good. Oh my god. <sighs> Everybody can hear both Matilda and Rob yelling in the background. Actually, I can't hear anything. So. Oh, I definitely know my mic picked it up. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, all right. Well, I mean, uh, I, I'm going to defer to you on this one, Devin, as far as, you know... Anything that's not a movie, because we've already have two movies on this list uh, for the second week of October. Yeah, that's true. We have two movies on the list. Um, so we I mean, could if, easily if, do. If you recommend this this Mandela catalog thing, Mandela catalog's great. Like it's fine. I, I like Mandela. I like Mandela catalog. It's now, what fine. is what does that fall? Is that a TV show? Is that a? It's a YouTube short, like YouTube collection of short videos. Is it gonna really freak me out? I mean, I don't. I'm not gonna say yes. I'm not gonna say no. I guess the Leprechaun movie freaks me out, Devin. But wait, does but does, does Leprechaun in the Hood freak you out? Yes. Anything like with that, that little bastard freaks me out. I mean, to be fair, he's a little bastard, though. So I mean, like, it's fine. Like, why be just? I'm really, really surprised that you haven't made me watch one of those again. <laughs> why? Because like the first two months that we've done you, this it was hey we're gonna you know we're gonna creep you also you, you also you also realize like i'm not actually a fan of the leprechaun movies i mean that's fine like, i mean i don't I, like them in the slightest i, I, mean, just, rather, I, like, I know that we rather, a lot of, like i've also never seen hellraiser i mean i've seen that, parts that's of fine it, but... hellraiser is a great one movie yeah it's it's really good for one movie and I then heard they're redoing it. what's this that you sent me what does this say you sent me? What did I send you? Oh, my message? Yeah. That I was, that's what I was looking for when I was typing it out. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> but, um... Uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that. Like, I'm, I'm cool with that. Uh... With with what one? We've talked about we've we've mentioned a lot of things. No, I'm saying I'm cool with I'm cool with we we can definitely do. I mean, if you want, like I said, I think how long is each episode of Haunted? I mean, I'm let me hop on Netflix on the phone real quick and just double check. I think they're like 35, 40 minutes. Of what? I, mean, I think 
Oh, haunted. I thought you. I thought we were gonna X haunted. I, I'm just saying, like, because you recommended that. That was recommended. That was. I mean, so far we have. T- we have one thing recommended by Rob, two things recommended by Avalos on the list, and one thing that's recommended by you. Okay. And then so, we can do what Apple just recommended. The Min- do... Mandela catalog thing? Yeah, I mean, yeah. How many, yeah, now, how, like... how, how long are those episodes? The, the, I think the whole thing that's out right now is, blah, I'll tell you, is uh, I think the whole thing, the whole playlist, Alec Kitt. Alex Kister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Whatever. Um, you're looking at somewhere in the ballpark of first videos, like three minutes, 15. Like the whole thing, maybe 45 minutes, maybe? No, like an hour. Like an hour, maybe. All right, and that's enough that you, you, you feel it's like... like 11 gonna, videos. It's like, it's like 11 videos. And you feel like that's enough content that we're going to be able to get an hour's worth of conversation out of it? I mean, I think we could do that, and we could do maybe do that and do a combination of some, 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 something else. I just like lost my life there for a second. Um, we could do that and something else, but hold on for a second. They released more than a ton of persons. Well. We, uh, we got to do all those two, don't we, though? It'll be longer... There's an interlude. And there's volume six 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 or three three three. Uh, I mean, we could definitely get some. And they don't have to be over an hour. I mean, we've had shorter episodes on things too, so I mean that's fine. <clears throat> I just want to know ahead of time if this is going to be something. That, is anything on this list? going to be something that really creeps me out. I don't, I mean, I don't really think it will. Alright. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pen in the Mandela, how do I spell it? Oh, okay. It's written in the chat. Uh, Mandela Catalog uh, and that would be the entirety, th- the entire thing of it, right? Yeah, me and Apple can sit down and pick out because some of the videos are like I'm not gonna say are pointless, um, but are don't really add to the experience. So me and Apple can sit down and pick them out if we need to, um, or we can oh, all just sit down I'll and figure it out together. I'll just make Apple watch them all with me. Or I mean that too. I was just saying we could sit down and pick me and her since we both we're not we're not ruining anything for us. That's what I was saying. And if need to, we can watch. We can do the back rooms, which is another like thirty minutes on top of that. So, now what's the back it's rooms? Is that another pod? YouTube, is that another YouTube thing. The YouTube thing. All right, let me just put that. In. See, if we had like time and we wanted to devote like a whole week to it, nope. And it's not really like not a week, but like a whole episode to just that. I wouldn't say like the. I would not say it was March thirty first. Was not the season two released later that year. Yeah, um, is a podcast <laughs> uh, called Baraska, which I was not like. I wouldn't really do horror. Uh, it's act- it actually stars Cole Sprouse. It's under the horror podcast genre, but it's more like horrible people than it is some like horror horror but Baraska is really good it's really good it was uh I actually came, I came across it on um Mr. Creepypasta I think it was Mr. Creepypasta or it was who what was the other guy that I was, that was supposed to do that I can't think of his name right now because I'm blanking like an idiot uh Dark Somnium I can't remember it was Dark Somnium or Mr. Creepypasta I came across it with one of those guys they did, they they did like the whole thing, then read it and did it, and I was like, "Oh, that's really cool!" And then like it got popular, just like the left right game. Yeah. Which do we? We it, did just like we did le- an episode on one of those. Yeah, the left right game is supposed to. Uh, it's supposed to get like a show, I think, on Amazon. I believe it's supposed to get a TV show. I don't know if that's actually ever going to happen, but it's supposed to get a TV show. <laughs> 
But uh, the left right game, that was really good. But it's just been the same people, now, the same company, Q Code, that did that. They did Baraska as well. Baraska's really good. Baraska is. Let me figure out how long. I have Baraska a question is. for you, Devin. I've got an answer for and you. And it's baby. okay if but, the answer is no or not this year. Okay, what's up, baby? But I know the last, I want to say the last two years we've done it. The Halloween live stream is on Saturday the 29th is when it starts. It usually goes okay. for 13 hours. They We start at noon and it goes to 1 a.m. Okay. Now, the last two years, you and I have streamed the day before. And we've done those weird ch- choice making anthology thing. Did we miss last year? Did we miss last year? No, I don't think so. I think last year we did the one uh, maybe. I mean maybe it was the no, year before. I get mixed up. It was the year before. We missed last year because I, I think I had to work and I couldn't get off. I know one of them the last one we did was the one with the fucking No, that was the first year we did. No, the first the one was ship. the ship. The second yeah. one the first the, the second was the one town. was the the town, which I think we met, the third one was uh, that came out, uh, we we didn't get to it. Yeah, we haven't done the newest one. There, there's two of them we haven't done. Oh. Um, I I I think um, the Man of Madon. Yeah, the Man of Madon series. Yeah, the dark. Well, the dark pictures. Listen, for Valentine, somebody who's actually. supposed to be quiet because you're hurt, you're talking an awful lot. The dark pictures. Don't you shake Valentine, your head at me? Valentine, I want you to get better. Uh, yeah, the Dark Pictures Anthology. And we've only done two of them, Rob. We've done two out of... Four, um, right? we've done We've done Man of Madon, we've done Little Hope. The only yeah, one that's Little out Hope right is now town. is House of Ashes. House of Ashes, that's uh, the That we haven't one, done right? yet. It's House of Ashes, which is the third one. $29.99. We can do that one. And that's the one where you're playing as uh, Special Forces guys. Uh, at the close of the Iraq War, special forces hunting for weapons of mass destruction unearth- unearthed something far deadlier. A buried Sumerian temple containing a nest of unearthly creatures to survive the night below. They must forge a brotherhood with their enemies from the world above. Um, yeah, I think so. I think well, you're playing. We can think about that through the month of October, but I, I wanted to bring that up. The fact that I'm, I know. Well, let's see. How I remember which year we missed, but I do remember we, it was, we missed last year. We missed last year. We, we, we missed last year. We usually did them leading up to. Yeah, we did Halloween them the night stream. before the Halloween stream. Which the Halloween stream would be the 29th, 30th. I'm off the 27th, and 28th, so we could theoretically do it then. Right. I, the only thing is with my thing right now is I do not know how streaming i will be like how my i will hold up the streaming gotcha like as far as like your internet um and the new one comes out but that's not until november so that's the only thing i don't know how my like to give you an idea if i watch a youtube video or i like download like a file while i'm on discord with you my discord gets choppy Okay, so you you just your internet might not be able to handle it. Like right now, actually, I opened up Steam and it's downloading a patch for Dead by Daylight, and I can't hear you. Um, okay. Now I can hear you. So that's the only thing I don't know how I will hold up to streaming. Uh, so worst case scenario, what might have to happen, um, which still would be up in the air, but. If we want to try it, we can get it. And what I can do is I may not be able to stream from my end, but me and you can be in a call together. You stream it and I, we, we can just do co-op play. Okay. Well, that might be the way to go about it. Well, why don't we figure that out? Like, over the course of the next couple of weeks, what you can do is you can kind of test to see if playing a game, being on discord, you know, what, what you can manage to pull off and what you, what is too much for your computer right now or for your internet. And then we'll, we'll go from there. We'll decide after we'll yeah, do a little bit of testing. Yeah. 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 We can do that. And if, it, if we can get it to a point where it kind of works out and it's, it's doable, then uh, by all means I'm down. Okay. I, I'm totally 100% okay with doing that. I was just thinking about that earlier too. I was like, man, I really wish I could stream. Cause like I, I would do that. That's the only reason why I haven't been streaming people, by the way. Like, I have the time 
the stream more often than not. So, okay, yeah. And I may be able just, to. Just it all depends, a, actually, from October. Up here. Up here. I may be able or I just get my own place and have my right. own internet. Either old one. Old place up here in New Hampshire. Just... I mean, you get me a job in New Hampshire, buddy. I'm, I'm gone. I'll start sending you job, uh, dude. Don't even tempt me. I'll flood you with job applications in New Hampshire. Uh, okay, so that's that looks like we got our we got our our schedule. So to, to just finalize things, the first week of October coming out on the seventh will be our episode on. Um, Yeah, that was several years ago. That's the one that I still. That was, that was, our, that was I, like our. That was our first like co-op. Yeah. that was the one that gave me the idea for this one. Yeah, that that was the one I, still, I still haven't want, forgiven Devin for. <laughs> I still want to play the quarry. Like, I wish I could stream because I still want to play the quarry. I don't know if you guys are playing that this year or not. I don't even know what that is. Hey, God damn! Rob would know better. The quarry is it actually free? Oh, the trial version's free. The actual one, sixty bucks. But it's the same kind of game. Uh, it's by the same people, actually. I think. Yeah, it is. It's the same by the same people that do that. Uh, but the thing about it is, it's a choices matter game where you have multiple endings. It's a horror based game, and I think it's up to. I forgot how many people it's up to. It's like all I know is I don't care it's a who dumb messages of me play the game. It's and a how dumb amount of people that can play the game. That's how, why I, I would really love to do it. How I, often? I, again, I, can't I, I don't care how you try to prove to me. I always feel like there could have been another option where we both survived that one game. Yeah, the, the one, where, the one where you turned on me at the end. Yeah. So. Um, so the quarry would be a, a fantastic game for the Halloween stream, but it one it's a sixty dollar game, so it's a little, it's a little pricey. It's, I mean, it's a full price game, so I mean, I say pricey, but it's a full price game. Um, if you guys do play it, I will be salty because I really want to play it, and I really wanted to play it in this mode. But it has what's called the Wolf Pack mode, which is you play the game because you basically are playing as like a group of teens or young teens or young ad- young adults. Yeah, I know. No one will buy it. But if you get like enough people that would buy it, basically you can play with up to seven other people. You can play with eight people. And it's just like it's just like the games mean you mean you're playing where choices matter. Except the difference is instead of like us switching characters in different scenes with the eight people, you would, it'd be a movie but then when your character's in the scene, you're playing that character. So you, p- you pick your character, and your choices matter. And so you're actually attached to that character. So you may make other choices that kill other people. <laughs> well. <laughs> because you're like, well, I don't want to die. But if I go back, I, I want to go back and save Webby, but I also don't want to die. So uh, I'm going to run. But then running may be the wrong choice, and you might run into the creature and die. Or it might be the right choice, and but Webby might die. Or however you want to play it, uh, but I really do want to play the quarry at some point. So maybe, maybe it, it maybe it won't be for Halloween stream. Maybe when I figure out this whole streaming situation, we get this together and we figure this shit out and um, we uh, buy the game for up to seven other people and we play some quarry because I think that'd be really fun and stream that because I think that would be fun as fuck. But just me though. That's just me. Well, you know, Rob, I mean, you are in charge of the scheduling, so if you can get, you know... Yeah, yeah. Rob people... can do it for a regular stream on his, on his channel. It's fine. Rob's well, like, no. I'm just saying for the Halloween stream, if, if, you, can get like no. four, if, you, if you get four of us who will buy that game and play it, no he, one else has no. to play he in that no. block. He said no. He said no. That's because and... he's trying to avoid arguments. Well, I also would vote no for a good reason. But uh, I'll t- I'll tell you that reason yeah. later. Anyway, we're about to wrap up this fucking episode. Ah. Uh, are we at an hour? If not, I have something 
that we could talk about we're is at, not We're at about remotely. 50 minutes, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over our finalized schedule, and we're going to end the episode. All right, that's fair. How's that? Unless yours is Halloween, if, if, if it's on topic. It's not on topic. But, right, I mean, it's on, you, you it's can, on topic for our group in general, but it's not on topic for Halloween. Then you can t- tell us after I'm done wrapping up the episode. It's D&D related, but okay. Okay. Yeah, I do not want to get into a D&D tangent right now. We'll, this episode's going to end up being two hours long. Probably. Uh, all I right, to- so let me fi- let me just read over the finalized October plan for us. Starting on the week of the 7th, on the 7th, our Hocus Pocus 2 episode will come out, where we will talk and review Hocus Pocus 2. The week of the 14th, so the second week in October, we're going to do the Man- Mandela catalog, and then possibly, what is this, the back rooms? Is that what it's the called? Back, the back rooms. Yeah, possibly. It's Depends on how the Mandela catalog goes. Uh, the third week, coming out on the 21st, we're going to do you know, a, a small handful, two to three episodes of the No Sleep podcast that Rob will choose for us to listen to. Uh, and then again, two to three episodes of Crypt TV, the YouTube channel thing. Um, on the 28th, the fourth week, we're going to do The Halloween Ends, which is going to be the the final one of the new anthology or, or whatever trilogy. Uh, and then that will obviously lead into the 29th, which is the Halloween live stream itself, starting at 12 noon Eastern time and ending at 1 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, schedule uh, throughout the month of October uh, once Rob comes up with the schedule as far as what we're going to be doing for the Halloween stream, we'll let you know uh, throughout the month. So that is our finalized schedule for the month of October. Woot. We did it. I'm happy. We there did it, Mars. We done right. did it. So boy. with yeah. that, we're going to sign off. Uh... Devin, do you have life advice? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do I have life advice? Are you asking me, does Devin have life I, advice? I am while you're Googling something to say. No, I am not Googling I anything I hear you typing. Don't I, that's not why I'm typing. I, I'm not allowed to type. <laughs> I'm not allowed to type in this economy. This <laughs> economy? What? It doesn't even make sense. It, it, it does. It it really does. It it does. It really does. Don't don't you start with me. I'm telling you that I have life advice prepped. So I don't know what to tell you. Uh, boom. Boom. All right. This is life advice. That was what I wanted to say. There we go. Boom. Life advice from my man, Neil Gaiman. Because I love Neil Gaiman. I always turn to Neil Gaiman in times of life advice. Uh, Life is sometimes hard. Things go wrong in life and in love and in business and in friendship and in health and and in all other ways that life can go wrong. And when things get tough, this is what you should do. Make good art. Make good art. Because art is a representation. This is my secondary part to that. So, Because art is a representation of what you're going through. Whether everybody has some type of artistic outlet. And I think that's actually accurate and true. Because I know me personally, like, and I'm going through a lot. Like, I that's when I tend to be the most creative. I tend to be like, it's, and sometimes it's really hard to like sit down and like, pursue that outlet but if you're able to get past that initial hump pursuing whatever it may be whether it's drawing typing writing whatever it may be that like outlet that you have that creative outlet you have somewhere it usually if you allow yourself to get to that point usually it will come out on the other side of being 
helpful because you work through a lot of things. Like to give you some insight on some things I've playing like Roy for the people who know uh, or playing Roy or making Roy and making Tez. I made Tez out of the frustration I had with the distractions group. Like I was, I was frustrated and I was like an aggravated and with that group. And I really wanted to stop playing distractions. But instead of like doing that, I turned that into like, I focused that like dislike into the create the creative aspect of creating Tez and creating the character of Tez. And th- that was playing Tez was some of the fun, my funnest times playing in that group. Uh, Roy, a lot of Roy's backstory and a lot of like things I did with Roy, like a lot of the creative, like nuanced, small things I did with Roy is part of it is because yeah like i care about that character a lot but part of it is because i care about that character a lot because i put a lot of time into that character but the time i put in that character a lot of that came from the fact that i was just i was just like frustrated with life and wanted an, an escape so i created something um and yeah like i tend to be my most creative when like i'm not saying when things are going bad but like when things are going bad and i tend to be able to focus that i'm usually creative and it usually helps me work through what i'm going through it's not like an end-all be-all answer but I, yeah i think that's solid life advice it is i i actually really like that life advice i mean i like all your life advices but yeah that one gave me some more insight into uh, you know things that i was unaware of so uh, as far as the science corner goes, I got Rob covered this week for science corner. Dogs bark. It's loud. That's science, folks. <laughs> oh, I actually Rob do have some science. Chat, stuff. I actually well. hold on. <laughs> hold on. I do have some science. Um, I just got to find what it was. I was listening to it on YouTube. It's a science channel. I was listening to it on YouTube. And there's... Uh... Here's some science cornery stuff for you. The majority of the first column of the periodic table, I believe, is explosive with water. I think you're actually right. Of course, um, as explosives. Why wouldn't I know this? Five E. That is that is true. Explosives do be in five E though. Ah oh, fuck! What was that? Ah, oh, I'm mad. I don't remember what it was. I remember, but I don't remember what it was. Um. See, this is the perfect opportunity, Devin, to just shoot it from the hip. We'll just give a bunch of science what we consider science. Oh, okay. Facts, and no, no. It was like it, it, ba- basically, 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 it, it was basically it was something to the effect of the body does not. Re- the only re- the only way your body registers the can only only reason why your body will send you the signal that you're suffocating is because the only thing that triggers that is you not breathing out carbon dioxide. Um, but it does not you not breathing in oxygen doesn't trigger you suffocating, right? So it's just Hence why the, the inability... The act of exhale. exhaling carbon dioxide is what... Or not being able to exhale carbon dioxide is what triggers your body to being like, oh, shoot, I'm suffocating. But that's why when you go to, like, the like the, the dentist, they give you, like... And they give you, uh, like, ni- like, nitric oxide to breathe in. You're not bringing oxygen. You're just bringing... You just go to sleep. So... If you ever find yourself in an environment that has like ga- breathable gas in the air, but that gas is not livable gas, you won't know you're suffocating as long as you can exhale CO2 and you will just go to sleep and die. What? That's kind of why, like, when you breathe in carbon carbon monoxide poisoning, it's kind of the same thing. You just fall asleep because you're, you don't even realize you're suffocating to death because the only thing that registers you suffocating is the exhalation of carbon dioxide. And you only realize you're suffocating and you can't do that anymore. Um, well, Rob, so, yeah. You're going to have to fact check that, but sounds sounds legit. Uh, also, I'm going to give Devin a, a real quick science pop quiz. It's 
It's a one oh, no. question pop quiz, and Rob, you're not allowed to write the answer. It's it's a super easy question. Devin, what is a human being, the human being's largest organ? Skin. Yeah, ding, ding, ding. A lot of people don't know that. The dermis. See, how can the... you hate everything that's happening, Rob? We're giving l literal science facts here. It's it's Rob's science corner, and we're giving science facts. I covered my ass with the column of the periodic table thing by saying most of the first column of the periodic table is explosive with water. You're not allowed to answer. You're typing your answers. <clears throat> also, I mean, this is this is also probably the other reason Rob th is, is hating everything is because he's going to have to fact check all of these things and, well, you know, come out next week and say, on, yeah, they were on. right or they were wrong. Uh, like giant, have to fact check giants when I'm to, like, space check. probably I'm exist somewhere. We don't know because we've never seen them. But you can't tell me they don't exist because they might. What are you? What are you hold, hold, holding on for, Devin? Oh no, you go ahead. You're good. You're oh, good. I was just getting ready to do the sign off. Go ahead, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Uh, all right. Well, uh, with that, uh, Rob says, "Fuck this shit. I'm out." And uh, Devin, where can people find you on the internet? You guys can find me on Twitter at DMP underscore Puke. You can find me on Twitch at Mister D3, and as always, you can find me on eBay. Sleepless in Seattle. You can find you on eBay at Sleepless, Sleepless in Seattle. It's a good movie. Uh, thank you guys for listening. You guys can follow me on Twitter at Jack's Forest Walker, all one word. On Twitch at DM Webby. And on eBay at um, not exhaling carbon dioxide. Uh, and with that, everybody, we love you. Thank you for listening. Uh, and fuck Booster Gold. Fuck Booster Gold. Down, 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 down. Bow, bow, bow. Got about nine more seconds, Devin. Then you can tell us your D and D thing, because the intro music's. Uh, about to be over.